Okay, this is a video on how I set up an imaging session. So what we're going to do tonight is to try and image M81. This will show you how I plate solve and then align to the M81 Galaxy using astrophotography tool. What we're looking at here is Cart to Seal, which is a planetarium software. And over here, we have EQMOD, which is showing that the telescope is currently parked. So the first job will be to unpark the telescope, which we do by clicking the unpark button. Then I click this button here to activate side reel tracking. So basically the telescope is sitting outside in the weight down position. This is a park position. It's not particularly aligned to anything. So the first thing we will do is find M81 on Cart de Seal and then we will move the telescope to where Cart de Seal thinks it is, but that isn't actually going to be the correct position. So in the drop down here I already have M81 found previously. So I click on M81 and then what we do is click this button here which will slew the telescope to where Cart de Seal thinks M81 is. So we've clicked that button and you will now see the numbers here are changing as the telescope is moving outside. I just zoom out here and here comes the scope now. So Cart de Seal thinks it's now looking at M81 but I can assure you that it isn't which I'll show you in the next couple of clips. So what we do now is flip over to Astrophotography Tool, APT. And we can probably move this out of the way here. We don't need to see EQMOD anymore. Now what you're seeing here in APT is looking through my camera outside, attached to the telescope. And what we do is take a photograph. It's going to be 20 seconds at ISO 800. Actually, let's move that to ISO 1600. That will gather a bit more data in just for this one shot. So we do one shot, like that. Just have to wait 20 seconds now for it to finish. Then the image will show up here in the screen. Exposure finished. So that's what we just photographed, where the telescope is pointing. But it's not actually at the M81 galaxy. So the next thing we do is we plate solve where the telescope is actually looking at. The initial plate solve within APT is done by clicking on the gear tab, then clicking the point craft button just there. And then what I do is I click this button here blind and what that will do is it will try to solve this image. And basically what that does is it takes this image and then compares it against a known star database and then it should tell us where we are actually pointing at. So now we click the blind button and you'll see up here it's solving. This may take 20 seconds, 30 seconds or something. So what I'll do is I'll pause the video until it solves. Okay, so the image is now solved. And now I'm gonna flick back to cart to seal. Now you'll see that we think we're pointing at M81. Now we go back to APT and I'll click on show and then sync. Now we go back to Cart to Seal and you'll see we're nowhere near it. M81 is actually just there. We're actually pointing there. That's what we're actually looking at on our image. So if we go back to APT, this star here that we photographed is probably that star there. So what we've actually done here is we've plate solved the image that we took and we have aligned the telescope to the planetarium software, Cart du Seal. Now what we do is we go back to APT, Astrophotography Tool. We click on Objects, just here, and we find M81 in the list. Somewhere down here. There it is. We double click that. And you'll see when I double click it, the RA and DEC coordinates will fill these two boxes, like that. Now what I do is I click the button, go to plus plus. Now what will happen is the telescope is going to move to that rough location and it will again plate solve and will try to align the center of the Bode's galaxy to the center of my camera, just there. Now we just have to wait and now it will take a photograph Exposure started. There it goes, so it's taking a photograph now, another 20 second odd photograph. 
So there's 1920. Exposure finished. Exposure's finished. And there it is, look. There is the Bose Galaxy in the middle of the screen. There's the Cigar Galaxy as well. Now what it's doing now is it's plate solving and it's found that it's plate solved within 276 pixels. Well, the software isn't happy with that. It'll try to get it closer. So it'll go again until it gets it very, very close to the center of the screen. I just pause the video. Right, there we go. Exposure's finished. And there we go. We're in right in the center. There's the cigar. It's just visible there on the right-hand side, and there's the exact center. Go to plus plus and finish. the actual software is finished, and you can see, look, the target is in within 16 pixels. So pretty spot on. So that's how I set up for imaging and basically align my telescope to my imaging software and planetarium software. Now what we do is close that box down, go to camera, select a plan which we're going to use um, this plan here which is four minutes 800 ISO. so I'm continuing from previous session and you can see here now that the, the galaxy is right in the center if I zoom in maybe you might see it clearer uh, no you won't see it clearer not until I actually take some longer exposure photographs but that's basically it that's how we set up for imaging and what I should do here, just to make it a little bit clearer, I'll do one image with a, a longer exposure. So what should we do? Let's do, I don't know, uh, 60 seconds. Just there, look. And I'll just click shoot. I think you'll see the, the galaxy a bit clearer in the middle of my screen. I'll just pause the video while it does that so exposure. There you go, there's the Bose Galaxy smack in the centre of the image with the Cigar Galaxy over here on the right. So that's basically the initial setup. After this, what I would do is focus properly, and I could have focused before, but I'll focus now, but I'm not going to show that in this video. And the next thing I would do after this would be to set up my guiding, which I'm also not going to show in this video. I just wanted to use this video to show how I set up for um, initial plate solving and alignment for the, the imaging session. So, hope you enjoyed the video.